Hi guys, welcome back. This is going to be my list of the 10 best comic book movies of all time. Now, to compile this list, we took a consideration total take at the box office, critic reception, and that's a lie. Didn't take any of that in consideration at all. <laughs> None of it. Just, these are my personal favorites. That's right. So, what are you going to do? These are my favorite comic book movies. Now, there are some movies that were released that they made a comic book of. These are not included on here. These are strictly movies that are based off of a comic book character, let's say. Of some sort. Now, there are hundreds, like a lot more than I thought movies based off comic book characters and I did not want my list to be entirely like Marvel or DC stuff like that so there are plenty of movies I like a lot that did not make the cut some of them are sentimental reasons so I gotta start off with an honorable mention of a movie I loved as a child <laughs> It's considered one of the worst movies of the 80s. Based off Marvel comic. Howard the Duck. I loved Howard the Duck as a kid. I still watch it. It does not hold up at all. Uh, it's one of those movies even as a kid. It's so bad it's good. Like, like I said. I didn't take anything in consideration making this list. Like box office critic or anything like that. These are just my movies I like. So I'm not saying they're the best comic book movies. Despite the title of the video, these are just my personal favorites. So honorable mention goes to the wonderful Howard the Duck. I've got to get back to my own kind. Although I have developed a greater appreciation. All right. So we're going to count down from 10 in no particular order because that's the way my lists work. I just number them so I can keep track how many there are. So, 10. From 1990. The first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. I actually seen this in a theater. It was 1990 so I would have been 13 Either 12 going on 13 or 13 when it comes out. Depends on when it came out in the year. But the first Ninja Turtles movie I had to put on a list. Partly nostalgia reasons. But I still enjoy this movie to this day. So of course Ninja Turtles is on it. Hey! Wait for me! Whoa. God, I love being a turtle! The next, number 9... It's from the early 2000s. It features a Marvel character, Spider-Man. But it's Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. I remember seeing this movie when it came out. Loved it so much. I still do. The train scene when Tobey stopping the train with the webs. Just simply amazing. Great villain in Doc Ock. Very well done movie. I think it holds up anyway. So number nine, Spider-Man 2. Eight. Number eight. There's only been three movies in my life that I went to see in a theater twice. That's right. Only three movies I paid money to see twice. And number eight's one of them. Actually, it was the first one ever, Avengers Endgame. Now, you can have the debate all you want about Infinity War, Endgame. For me, it was all about Endgame. I loved Infinity War, don't be wrong. But I loved, the, I loved Endgame. It was so emotional. We went to see that in the theater twice, like I said. The first time we went to see it, like five rows back, there was a woman bawling her eyes out at the end. <laughs> Like, loudly. So, Avengers Endgame had everything for me. Absolutely loved. That's what this cup's from. Endgame. 
absolutely amazing movie. So, I knew this was going to be in my list. There was absolutely no question. I thought about this list for like two weeks, but this one was always on it. So, let's move on. Up next, seven. Another nostalgia pick. I was... Either 11 going on 12 or 12 at the time, depending on when the movie came out. From 1989, I'm Batman. That's right. Michael Keaton as Batman. Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Prince. The great Prince. Doing the soundtrack. I went to see this in a theater. I was so excited to get there. And it was sold out. I did not get to see it in a theater. I had to wait for it to come out on video. For some reason, it did not occur to us. We can always go back tomorrow night. No. We just didn't go back. I don't know why. Never thought about it all these years till like yesterday. But So I didn't get to see it in the theater. But I did get to watch it, obviously. I have the soundtrack on CD. I have a VHS copy of this movie. Two of them. Absolutely love it. Does it hold up? That's debatable. Very debatable, but... Michael Keaton to me was my Batman because he was the first live action of my lifetime. So, absolutely amazing. You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses on, would you? Huh? Time for number six. The six. Number six is a different one. Like, a lot of people, I shouldn't say a lot of people, some people don't even realize it's based from comics. But it's from 1994. It's considered a cursed movie. Because the great Brandon Lee. Passed away on set. That's right. The Crow. Love the Crow. The first moment that movie came out. Fell in love with it. I, I think it holds up. I still like it. Even now. Such a great movie. But like I said, a lot some people don't realize it's based from a comic. What is it? What? Speak to me! Speak! Did you send us these complaints? We're on number five now. We are halfway there. Number five, I went with a sequel. I went back and forth between this and the first one, but I figure I like number two a little bit better because we are off of the origin story. Deadpool 2. I really like this one a lot. I like the first one as well. Like I said, I did go back and forth, but in this one where we didn't have to go to the origin of Deadpool first before we got to it, that's why I chose it. I enjoyed the performances, especially the kid that he's protecting. He did a good job. Then Colossus. Love everything about Deadpool 2. I, it was kind of sad that they killed her off. but And that cameo by Brad Pitt, of course. Really good. Enjoyed this one. Funny as hell. And a lot of action on top of it. You killed Black Tom, you racist son of a bitch! God! All right, four. The four is a standalone movie. It's not part of the MCU, and it's not part of the DCU, EU. Yeah, DCEU. But it is based off DC comic. It's Joaquin Phoenix as Joker. Arthur Fleck. Seen this one in a the theater. I had a... Uh, Obvious comparisons to Taxi Driver with Robert De Niro. That was obvious. Like They didn't try and hide it. But I thought it was really well done. It kind of made you feel for him. Uh, leading up to him becoming the Joker. Loved it. I've only seen it. The once though. I have to get it again and watch it. But Joker's number four. <laughs> Number three, we're getting there. 
slowly we're getting there number three is from this year it's the third movie that I've gone to the theater twice to see it's the Batman with Robert Pattinson I went to the theater to see it I liked it Heather and I decided we're gonna go back see it again and I liked it even more the second time around than I did the first time I think he did a great job as Bruce Wayne as Batman even though it was almost three hours, it didn't feel like it was almost three hours. So it kept me engaged enough where I didn't feel it. So like the three hours, I mean, really liked it a lot. And I'm going to watch it again when it comes out on Blu-ray. I already have it planned out to buy it. So I have to include the Batman on this one because I did go see it twice. And I actually considered going again. <laughs> number two number two is one of my favorite comic book characters i was very happy to see it this was not her first appearance in the movie though because she made an appearance in just uh batman vs superman Wonder Woman. The first Wonder Woman movie. I absolutely love it. This is a movie I have seen multiple times. Probably at least five times I've seen the first Wonder Woman movie. Love Wonder Woman. See? Love Wonder Woman. So I had to include it on this list. And it definitely holds up because it's not even that old, but it's really fun. It is better than the sequel. All right, ladies, gentlemen, time for number one. The second movie that I went to the theater to see twice is the first one on the list. It is Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm not going to talk too much about this one because I don't want to spoil anything. But holy shit, this movie made me feel emotions. <laughs> A lot of emotions. I absolutely loved it. Obviously, because I paid money to go see it twice in the theater. <laughs> That's right. All right. So that's it. Those are my 10 favorite comic book movies of all time. With an honorable mention of Howard Duck. But like everybody else, my top 10 varies. Like, I imagine everybody, like, one week it's these. And then it's like, oh, you'll watch another one back again. Like, oh, maybe this one. So it does vary. But I would love to hear your 10 favorite comic book movies of all time like i said at the beginning i just didn't want to include all mcu movies because they've had some great ones i didn't want to be all dc i wanted to have some variety in here as much as i love other movies like the suicide squad stuff like that so that's me share your thoughts in the comments below let's talk about it but be polite because everybody's opinions are different till next time Thanks for watching, Comic Geeks.